Hey P fam, I'm preparing my uh, sweet potatoes for a candied yam recipe. I sliced them up, seasoned them with sugar and brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, a little vanilla flavor in there, hint of vanilla flavor. Yeah, and I'm topping it off. Normally, if we can put an orange in here, but all we had was a mandarin. Put the peel of the mandarin in there as well. And I topped it off with the um, mandarin uh, uh, slices in there. I'm going to top it off, too, with a stick of butter and just put it in there. You don't need no water, nothing else in it. It makes its own water and just let it do its thing. I'm going to put it on the stove top and a top on top of it. I'll let you see it as it progresses. Hey, P-Fam, check out these yams. They slow cooking. I told you they don't need any water, any liquid on it. They make their own liquid in there. Wonderful. Coming through very well. Just wanted you to get a glimpse of them. They're going to cook for about another 10 minutes. And we're going to turn the fire off on them. And they are done. Fam, these are the finished candid yams. I'm so excited about them. Can't wait. Can't wait. I just wanted to show them off. All right? Yes, you can. What am I saying? Yes, you can do this too. It's real simple. Let them cook really slow and simmer uh, and they'll be just right for your next meal. How about some pork ribs, some collard greens, cornbread, canned yams, and potato salad for dinner. That's gonna be my dinner, y'all.